Hi everyone, now that my camera is resituated, this is Libra Anarchy, because I wasn't Libra Anarchy before. Before my camera was situated, I was somebody else. I I think I was Scouse Caspa, but then I, I adjusted my camera and... <laughs> I'm in one of those fucked up, not taking anything seriously moods. <clears throat> <laughs> anyway, so I, I would like to ask some advice from uh, those who are into the occult, uh, paganism, witchcraft, magic, from any angle, left hand, right hand, both hands, hand up your bum, why not? Yeah. Um, well, I was uh, making an altar piece, and because I've already sculpted it out of air dry clay and let it dry, um, I do plan on painting it, but the individual in question um, broke up with me, and while I was making the altar piece, I felt rather inspired. Um, now, most of you know that I believe that the gods exist in the human mind, and I'm okay with that. And. Um, in making this, I communicated, communed if you will, with certain parts of my mind. I felt inspired. I felt in contact with certain things. And being really experimental, and ha in, one, in making this piece for somebody else who is apparently equally as experimental as I am, um, it felt right. And it felt inspired, and there's no way I'm going to throw it away. However, it's not my altarpiece. It doesn't feel like mine. It doesn't feel right for me to have it. <clears throat> so what would you guys suggest that I do with the thing once I finish it? Because it doesn't belong on my altar. Do you think I should try to sell it to the guy? <laughs> um, I mean, what do you think I should do? Um, have a contest? Uh, give it to um, a viewer? Um, yeah. Is... Are any of you interested in Shub Nigruth, or Nigruth, however you pronounce it, and um, Yig, Lovecraftian entities? Maybe you want it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, should I wait for the holidays and have some kind of contest and then I can uh, get a P.O. box and send it along to a winner and, you know, have a very scary solstice and all this? And it's not the greatest artistic work by any stretch of the imagination. It's air dry clay and it will be painted with acrylic paints. It probably won't even be smooth. But it does have a black goat on her back <laughs> with a very wide <clears throat> and, a, and a very wide <clears throat> And a snake with wings. So, where else are you gonna find it? So I don't know. Should I sell it? Should I have a contest? Should I give it away? Should I smash it? Should I try to force the individual in question, who was going to receive it, to receive it? I don't want to keep it. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to finish it though. I I have to finish it. I feel compelled to finish it. Not finishing it isn't an option. It's Or maybe I could treat it like a mandala. I could finish it and then I could smash it. Sort of um, use it to, I don't know, fire a sigil, but it seems like a waste. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't feel right.
It belongs on the altar of a Lovecraftian of some sort. I'm not, I don't want to throw it away. So, I could sell it, give it away, um, someone could win it, someone could earn it, somebody could, in return, um, maybe buy a copy of the first book that I wrote once it's out on the market, which is a, uh, it's a kid's book that uh, emphasizes critical thinking. One might interpret it as a libertarian kid's book, but instead of saying, you know, it's not irreligious, it's a religious. Um, it's it's apolitical, um, but it does encourage uh, critical thinking. So maybe I'm still waiting for the book to come out on Amazon, and then from there I'll uh, put it on Lulu next, and then on Drive Through Comics. <laughs> yes, I'm a shill, but um, shills hopefully, in my case, make money. But anyway. Maybe that we could establish some kind of trade. Buy my book and I'll send you the stupid sculpture or something. But again, I don't want to give you my real address. So you'll probably have to wait a few months. And the holidays will roll around. And, <clears throat> and I'll send you the stupid sculpture. Because then I'll have a P.O. box. <sighs> okay. So any advice about this is very much appreciated uh, because this actually kind of means a lot to me, not only because of who it was for, but because of what it was. Um, I've been into Lovecraftian, the Lovecraftian mythos for a little while and I got in touch with a different part of it, with different entities and expressions within the mythos so it was pretty interesting and I'm sure I will again as I begin to paint this thing so advice please blah 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 blah